A new meta-analysis has just been published outlining all of the evidence showing that birth control pills are actually safe and effective even for teenagers to take over the counter, meaning without having to see a doctor and get a prescription first. This isn't actually surprising at all. This is something that OBGYNs have been saying for years, and two states have even passed laws that allow pharmacists to write the necessary prescription right there at the pharmacy so that women don't necessarily have to go and see their doctor first. In fact, birth control is one of the few drugs that is safer for younger women compared to older women because the most dangerous side effects are things that would affect an older person more, things like risk of stroke, heart problems, blood clots. For most teenagers, the side effects of birth control include a lighter period, clearer skin, not having to give up on all of your hopes and dreams in order to have a baby before you graduate from high school. Oh, scary. So glad that we strictly regulate this drug. Uh, the danger of hormonal birth control pales in comparison to some other over-the-counter drugs, like, for instance, Tylenol. Tylenol is uh, acetaminophen, uh, which is how it's known in the U.S. and other countries. It's known as paracetamol. And it, pretty much anyone can walk into a pharmacy and buy however much you'd like. Uh, however, it's a pain reliever that doesn't really do much to relieve pain, as more and more studies have been showing over the past few years. Uh, research shows that it doesn't work for back pain, doesn't work for neuropathic pain, or for cancer pain. It barely works better than placebo for uh, things like osteoporosis, or migraine, or post-operative pain. It's really not that great. Meanwhile, Tylenol is known to correlate with a lot of deaths, probably more than any other over-the-counter drug. And not just because of people using it to commit suicide. This includes completely accidental overdoses. It's known to completely fuck up your liver, which makes it particularly deadly when taken in combination with a night of drinking. Maybe people pop some Tylenol in order to avoid a headache the next day and end up doing some real damage to their liver. It can also damage your kidneys, and it's also associated with heart and stomach problems. Even worse, the approved limit for Tylenol is four grams in a day, but doctors have reported overdoses from as little as two and a half grams in a single day. Forget the debate over whether a medicine should be available over the counter or by prescription. All of this makes me wonder why Tylenol is even sold at the pharmacy in the first place. But why can't we get oral contraceptives over the counter when we have a drug like Tylenol that's so easy to access? Simple. It's the ridiculous ongoing control over women's bodies by the government. In the U.S., the FDA has to make determinations on what can and cannot be sold over the counter. And to date, they continue to rule that birth control requires a prescription. But not only does that not improve the health and safety of Americans, it actually actively undermines their health and safety. Making birth control difficult to access means more unintended pregnancies, which means an increase in both maternal illnesses and deaths, as well as an increased need for abortions. And when you combine that with our ongoing a uh, habit of making abortions more and more difficult to access, that means an even greater increase in maternal deaths as women seek out illegal and unsafe back alley abortions. Throughout the past decade, we've actually made a lot of good progress on making birth control more easily available, despite the best efforts of the religious right. That includes making Plan B available over the counter back in 2013, and Plan B, I hate to tell you, is pretty much just a regular megadose of birth control, of the oral contraceptives that are still only available via prescription. This has led to a clear improvement in the lives of Americans. Making Plan B available over the counter has helped prevent uh, women from seeking out abortions. It's prevented unintended pregnancies. It's a good thing. And like that, making regular, boring old Plan A birth control pills available over the counter will also only make things better.